this HP power supply. I've got a few of them. Uh, it's got an awesome output current, 12 volts out, 200 amps. Uh, it's a pretty impressive amount of current. I want to use this to make a power supply for a battery charger, 12 volt battery charger. So obviously I need more than 12 volts. These supplies, unfortunately, do not enable you to tweak the insides to get more than 12 out. So what I'm going to do is put two of these in series uh, and get 24 volts out instead. And this will be 200 amps because it's in series, um, but that's the plan. Now there's a couple of things that have to happen to do this. You can't just simply put the uh, inputs and outputs. So there's your 240 in here, uh, output of your 12 volts here. You can't just go plus minus plus minus on the next supply. Uh, the reason you can't do that is because on these supplies, the ground for the mains and the ground for the 12 volts are shorted. And when that's when they're shorted, you can't actually put them in series because you're effectively shorting the two earths of the two, what would be the two supplies. And that won't work. I'll just show you here the shorting of the two. So if we go to the negative, which I think is the middle one, I'll check. There you go. So that's the middle pin of the three that are here. Um, you see there, three pins. So the middle one is your earth. And that's shorted to the chassis. And also, and there's the negative output. So that's short, all shorted through the chassis. Now thankfully, thankfully the shorting of these, of this particular board, which provides the DC out in here, is through these screws uh, and screwing the board down onto the frame here. So this point here and this point here, this screw. So a simple way to do this is to take those two screws out, get an insulator of some sort. Here I've just got some cardboard cut out and basically put the cardboard between the board, which has got the earthing, the circuit board, which has got the earthing plane on it uh, and the actual point where it screws to on a chassis here. And do that on both sides. Uh, that will then isolate that board from the earth and then isolate that earth from this earth. And not, all, not all boards will let you do that. It's a trial and error thing because sometimes the circuit board here will need that earth as part of its function. But in this instance, it doesn't. So we can get away with taking that earth off uh, and do that to both the devices, both the supplies. Put them in series, then we should have 24 volts out. So I'll just take this apart. I'll just take off a number of screws along here on both sides. Uh, and take off these two screws, put the insulators in, put it back together, do that to the two, and we'll see how it goes. So that one, that one, and this one here. Now once these screws are out, it allows you to lever this open which gives you enough of an angle to get into these screws in here. There you go, and you can see here, you get that movement on the board, which you can see where it screws down on there, and obviously there's an earth part. You might be able to see in here, and that's on the same on both sides. Don't bend it too much, obviously. For this reason, the same on this side, you've got the earth point there and also more predominant here the earth pad in there so what we'll do get my little bits of cardboard chuck a little bit of glue on just so the thing can't slip away because we won't be screwing this back down again so it needs to be held in place uh, put a bit of glue on both sides uh, and that'll hold this board down and in place and keep it insulated the glue I'm going to use just a bit of standard super glue just a dab, don't get too carried away. Let's make it in far enough just so that it doesn't uh, all the way through, but also gives you the insulation. So there. Same with the other side. Get a little 
little bit tricky to get in because there's some pins there as well. There we go, done. So that's in place, so they're both in place there. What I will do just to try and make sure it sticks. I've got a little clamp here. I'll just give this a I'll just hold them in place till the till the glue dries. I'll come back and put it back together again. Okay, so back again. That's not enough. I'll put it back together again. Yourself at home, mate. All right, so that's back together. Now, do a test with the continuity again. Okay. So, once again, negative in the middle, and then the negative here. Nothing. So, that's continuity is now gone, which is what we want. Obviously, the next test is to make sure the thing still works. So, okay, so to get this to work now, we need to short the appropriate pins. So, as you can see in the diagram, you short the bottom middle two and then short the pins diagonally across from that. That's those, and then we can put the power supply up the 240. Okay, hear the fan going, it started up. Now the voltage, you want to see what's coming out at this point. So, earth, positive, about 12.27 volts there to be specific. Now I need to do is do it for a second supply and then we'll run them from positive, negative, positive, negative. And then from both ends, positive here and the negative on the second supply we should have 24 volts. So I'll just do the second one. I won't bore you with that. Do the second one, we'll put it together and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the two power supplies done here now, uh, both with the insulations from the DC boards onto earth. Now I've connected, there's a positive out for this serial connection. So negative, negative through to the positive and then serial out. So two 12 volt supplies joined in series, I should get 24 volts out. So let's uh, power up both supplies and see what happens. Okay. Negative, positive, 24.5 volts. Awesome. 